<clears throat> I'm the one who's honored to be with you today, and especially uh, to have a chance to chat with you all. And it's, it's kind of like going to a Maryland football game. Not that I go to very many Maryland football games. And, and the students are always in the corner, right? And, and it always seems backwards to me, right? Uh, having gone to the Naval Academy, um, our students are right in the middle because that's who the team plays for, despite the fact that the alumni pay for it. Right? <laughs> uh, what, uh, thank you, Dean. It's a, a pleasure to be here. What the dean didn't tell you uh, about me is I grew up in Bethesda, Maryland. I have six brothers and sisters, five of whom graduated from the University of Maryland. I have a wife of 39 years who also graduated from the University of Maryland. Now, a little known, something she's very proud of, maybe not with this group, but in our family is she graduated with honors in French and education, having never been to the library <laughs> or what's a shock to my brothers, Cole Fieldhouse. Um, I also have a sister-in-law who's a graduate at the University of Maryland, and I have a nephew who's a sophomore here, uh, majoring in, in music and physics and playing in the marching band. And so on, uh, in a couple of weeks, right after Thanksgiving, I think you have a game against North Carolina. I'll be down in the end zone behind the band <laughs> for, for, parents, for parents' band game, whatever they call that. Um, we do have some fascinating and enduring relationships with the university, uh, both with the, the college, uh, or the School of Business and the School of Engineering. I am delighted that some of the faculty from the engineering school are here. It is relevant to the business majors, and it's certainly relevant to SAIC. Uh, the, uh, I would also like to thank, raise your hand, my SAIC colleagues who are here, please. <laughs> I've been asked why I would, at the age of 60, leave, retire from BAE Systems, a magnificent, extraordinary company and come to SAIC. Raise your hands again. <laughs> That's the reason. That's the reason. And there's a difference between being an extraordinary company and a company of extraordinary people. We'll talk a little bit more about SAIC, but that's why I came to SAIC. Um, when my wife thought I was going to retire, go to New Hampshire, get active politically, I said, I'll leave that to you. Last thing, hope everybody got a chance to vote who was eligible to vote yesterday. This, normally I'd make this the first thing. We'll make it the last thing tonight. And demonstrate to each other and frankly, to the rest of the world, how fortunate and how valuable we treat our democracy. Right. Nobody's going to take us seriously if we don't take ourselves seriously. That's a fact. And when we get out and demonstrate how seriously we take our country by exerting that very special right. We demonstrate not just to ourselves and reinforce it with ourselves, we demonstrate it to the rest of the world. So I hope you got a chance to do that, uh, regardless of how you think about things, right? Because it really is an important symbol to the rest of the world, at least the way, that's the way I think about it. 
You see somebody in uniform? Thank them. Thank them. Um, for my colleagues up there, they've heard me say this every time I speak. Because for that simple act of gratitude that comes with thank you, those folks will do everything for us. Absolutely everything. And if you don't believe me, come with me and go visit Lance Corporal Peck. Okay? You, you will, you'll understand it in a heartbeat. Uh, and we will never have to worry about this precious freedom we have. <coughs> We got a lot of problems in this country. They've been the, the tea baggers or whatever they are. They they've been telling us that all summer long. All right, isn't that who they are? I'm a little out of touch. Um, listen, we're going to solve our problems. Why? Because we're, we we have the, the the facility to grip it, right, and shake it like apparently happened yesterday, until we get it right. And in the worst case, the cycle time of that is two years. Right? It's not like we got to live with the queen for 50 years. <laughs> All right? you, you, we have the wherewithal to shake it. The day we can't depend upon our fellow citizens to volunteer to, to serve us as selflessly as Lance Corporal Peck, we're in real trouble. Because that's that has that goes to the soul of the nation. And I don't know how you fix that. You don't fix that by changing Congress. Right? That's a much more difficult problem. So I'd encourage you all, if you see somebody in uniform, just say thanks.